Fifth place Bremen against eighth place Hoffenheim. The visitors with a new coach, Marcus Babel, taking over from the sacked Holger Stanislavski. Babel himself sacked in Berlin just before Christmas. That's how quickly you can be out of a job in soccer these days. Hoffenheim, the visitors in the blue. Three minutes gone. Beck out on the right, fires one in, the ball bouncing wickedly in front of goalkeeper Tim Visa. The referee awarding a corner kick. Up steps Rudy. And central defender Yannick Vestergaard is there with the head, the ball seemingly in the air for ages before dropping down just under the crossbar. The Danish player's first strike for Hoffenheim. What a start for Marcus Babel. No chance at all for Tim Wieser in goal for Bremen. Bremen up to now played Hoffenheim four times at home, once in the cup and won all four. Not the start they dreamed of. Ekichi with a free kick for Bremen. Nine minutes gone. Good save by Tom Starker. Germany blessed with some fantastic goalkeepers and Tom Starker right up there with the best. Hoffenheim. Only two at home with Augsburg last week, and in midweek they were knocked out of the cup by second division through it. They needed a good performance against Bremen. An interception, a wonderful opportunity, and Firmino misses the chance to put his side two up. He can't believe it, and neither can we. Thomas Schaaf not impressed with his defence, especially the bad pass from Affolter. 21 minutes played. Great chance for Bremen to equalise the through balls from Junuzovic and Pizarro, who suspended for this match, ranks he could have done better there than Rosenberg did. 31 minutes gone. Still great pressure from the home side. Vestergaard clearing from Arnautovic. Arnautovic only in the side because of the absence through suspension of Pizarro. Half time one all into the second half. We join it in the 63rd minute. Rudy with the free kick. Goes for goal. Timbiza plucks the ball out of the air. Often I reckon it had gone over the line. Another look again in slow motion. Good save. 76th minute. Junuzovic for Bremen. The home side looking more and more dangerous. Vestergaard clearing from Fritz. Babel looking a little nervous now. The new Hoffenheim coach. Oh, his side only one win in the last five. And then Kompa with the pitch getting harder and harder slips. Bremen with an opportunity through Arnautovic. But that man, Vestergaard, clears yet again. Definitely the man of the match. Comper slip could have proved costly. 12 minutes to go. Bremen relentless in their attacks. That was Niklas Fulkul brought on as a substitute. Trying to push it through Tom Starker's legs. Didn't quite come off. Bremen, one win in their last five. Hoffenheim, one win in their last seven away from home. Both sides desperate for three points. And then, unbelievably, just when the Bremen fans were despairing of ever seeing the ball in the back of the opposition net, Arnautovic grabs the equaliser, his fifth goal of the season. The long ball from Mafalta, the header from Rosenberg, and the delightful finish from Marko Arnautovic. A player whose stay in Bremen has been marked time and again by controversy, but with finishes like that, the crowd could start to love him. 90 minutes gone, Firmino down the left flank, and Musona gets his heel to it, the ball trickling agonisingly past, Tim Visa's left-hand post. Would we see 
a decisive goal. Another fantastic save from Starker. Hoffenheim could really thank their goalkeeper that Bremen did not take the lead. In the end, the honours were shared. Marcus Babel's dream of beginning with a victory completely dashed by that man, Marco Anatovic. It finished Bremen 1, Hoffenheim 1.